Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. The 39-hour trip just got back in. Nice big pile of mangrove snapper. Some nice porgies, lanes, vermilions, some fat red grouper, some nice blackfin tuna. Definitely a nice solid catch of fish. It was a little bit slower during the day, but a hot, hot night bite to start out. And uh, I'll let Will speak to that more. Captain Brian and the boys definitely did very, very well this trip. Put together a nice catch of fish. Just had to work for it a little bit, huh, Will? Yeah, we had to work for it a little bit. Had some uh, current going into the wind in the daytime, and that messes with the fishing a little bit. Uh, nighttime was great mangrove fishing. We had a lot of guys fishing with pinfish at night for these mangroves. And uh, when you got mangroves that size, they like a pinfish. You just gotta let them eat it a lot more. So we did a lot of pinfish fishing at night and uh, slid on into some shallower water in the daytime. Got some, a couple red groupers per spot the whole day. They weren't on fire, but we got a couple here, a couple there the whole time and uh, added up nicely by the end of the day. So just had to grind it out during the day to put together a nice catch of red grouper and most of your mangroves came at night? Yep, and then they started biting again right when the sun went down again the second night. Nice, and these lane snappers came during the day when you were fishing a little shallower for those red grouper, I assume? Yep, lanes, and uh, we actually had a decent big vermilion bite at sundown as well. Nice. That's where most of these big bee liners came from. Nice, nice. How about these blackfin tuna? I see three nice blackfin tuna. How'd you guys get those? Uh, we got two of them at night, both on flat lines. Nice. And uh, there was had to be a lot more than that, but the fishing was good, so not many people were flatlining. And uh, one on a troller, on a small Rapala. A uh, Rapala x wrap Yeah, but a small Rapala x wrap and it was throat hooked. It ate the whole lure. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Inhaled it, huh? It didn't fight that hard. I was wondering why it wasn't fighting, and it came up. I was like, man, it's a tuna, and I think it was it didn't like where it was hooked. Yeah, it, it uh, gave up on that fight. Nice. I see a big porgy hiding down there. That's a monster behind that tuna. Yes, so sir. overall, a great trip, huh? Yeah, we stroked them at night and uh, just kept at them at the daytime. So the hot bait was the live pinfish at night for the big five, six, seven, eight pound mangroves? Yep, and the red grouper, we had a guy get a couple of them on a jig, but other than that, there was no rhyme or reason red grouper just a couple here a couple there random baits so red grouper were biting just about anything yeah. just had to work for them and keep a line in the water yeah that's it when fishing for mangroves with pinfish what's what's a tip or a trick what tackle approach uh, you're would you using use? you're using a smaller hook what well, a, a hook sized for your pinfish and i like a, sm a smaller pinfish and if you can if there's not much current i hook that pinfish in the tail hook them in the tail if you can lighter loads lighter current and then using like a five, six hot hook? I, we were using like fours this trip and you don't, you gotta let him really eat on it. You gotta let him bite it and bite and bite and bite and bite. It's hmm. it's a funny bite on a pinfish, but the big ones like them. All right, let them let him eat it. Still like 40, 50 pound leader? Yeah, we were fishing 40 pound leader at night and then went up to 60 in the daytime. We did lose a couple big red troopers too in this class size. Yeah, some fatties. Well, cool, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Nice catch of fish, for right. sure. Pretty good amount of red grouper. Just had to work for them. Definitely a good catch, as Will said. They did well. Just had to work for it during the day. At night, bite was hot. So that's kind of what we uh, don't necessarily expect around a full moon, or a new moon, excuse me. So our new moon is on the just happened last week so we're on the back side of a new moon so a little interesting they had such a great night bite and such a much slower day bite i would expect it uh kind of to be evened out a little bit and kind of a steady bite through the trip but hey it worked put together a nice catch of fish and uh definitely some fat red grouper out there what we're doing right now because of that deep water closure is we're fishing a little deeper at night for those bigger mangroves and then sliding in a little shallower to get those red grouper. As you can see, it works. Generally, a little lighter loads too. We're into that spring break time now. So this trip had around, I think, 43 people on it. So not super light, but lighter than it will be come summertime when those red snapper open, when trips are running more full. So great time to get out here and enjoy that 
good mangrove snapper bite. Great time to get out on the water. As far as weather goes, weather is best. Tuesday and Wednesday this week, I would definitely aim for that Tuesday 10 hour all day. That Wednesday five hour half day, potentially maybe that Wednesday extreme trip. Basically what we got going on right now is a, a strong high pressure will kind of prevail over the area today and into Monday. It'll ease off Tuesday and then Wednesday we'll have a front kind of slide down just north of us. It won't, it won't make it into the area. It'll just sit north of us and stall out a little bit, which Thursday it'll bring a little bit of an increased wind, potentially some rain. And then Friday that rain chance is much higher winds will be higher waves will be higher and then saturday it looks like a big front will come down and finally push that stalled front out of the way it might potentially mess up some weekend weather so that's what we're looking for this week what we're looking at weather can change drastically so keep in mind you got to stay tuned to the videos see what's going on and uh kind of stay up to date but right now short term weather looks really good tuesday and, a, and wednesday too so tuesday's best Wednesday second best. Get out here, enjoy some great fishing. Plus, we have tons of island trips, dolphin tours, and so much more here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Private fishing charters. Tonight, we've got our live stream show at 8.30 p.m. Every Sunday night, we do that live stream show on our Hubbard's Marina Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram pages, plus the Real Animals Facebook page, too. Hopefully you can join us for that. Don't forget about our Saturday morning radio shows from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And also our Friday morning Fox 13 news segments. Y'all have a great day, tight lines. And don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Have a great day, y'all.